Oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may be brought by his passion and cross to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. As the sun rises, may your hope rise up in me. As the birds sing, may your love flow out of me. As the light floods into this new day, may your joy shine through me. I come before you, O Lord, and dive in this moment of peace that I may carry something of your hope, love, and joy today in my heart. In everything, my first thought will be for you, my God. I want to end this day under your protective wings and may my soul only seek to please you my God I will have a soul anthem to do everything for God Amen A reading from the book of Joshua Chapter 3, verses 7 to 10a. Chapter 11, verses 13 to 17. In those days, the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And you shall command the priests who bear the ark of the covenant when you come to the brink of the waters of the Jordan. You shall stand still in the Jordan. And Joshua said to the sons of Israel, Come and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Hereby you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will, without fail, drive out from before you the Canaanites. Behold, the ark of the covenants of the Lord of all the earth is to pass over before you into the Jordan. And when the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord 
the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of Jordan. The waters of Jordan shall be stopped from flowing, and the waters coming down from above shall stand in one heap. So, when the people set out from their tents to pass over the Jordan with the priest bearing the ark of the covenant before the people, and when those who bore the ark had come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the ark were dipped in the brink of the water, the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout the time of harvest. The waters coming down from above stood and rose up in a heap far off. At Adam, the city that is beside Zaratan, and those flowing down towards the sea of the Araba, the salt sea, were wholly cut off. And the people passed over opposite Jericho. And while all Israel were passing over on dry ground, the priests who bore the ark of the covenants of the Lord stood on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan until all the nation of all the nation finished passing over the Jordan. The word of the Lord thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm The response is Alleluia 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 When Israel came forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a foreign people, Judah became his temple, Israel became his domain. Alleluia! 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 The sea beheld them and fled. The Jordan turned back on its course. The mountains left like rams, and the hills like yearning sheep. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Why was it see that you fled, that you turned back Jordan on your course? O mountains, that you left like rams, O hills, like yelling sheep. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. I will sing Alleluia. I will sing Alleluia. I will sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia unto the Lord. Let your face shine forth on your servants, and teach me your decrees. Alleluia! I will sing Alleluia! I will sing Alleluia! I will sing Alleluia! Sing Alleluia! Unto the Lord! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, 
How often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times, seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents, and as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children, and all that he had, and payment be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him the lord of that servant released him, and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants, who owed him a hundred denarii, and seizing him by the truth, he said, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison, till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what, he, what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you all that debt because you pleaded with me, and should not you had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord delivered him to the jailers, till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you, if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Now when Jesus had finished these sayings, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today as we listen to the words of the scriptures, we are all of us reminded of the love and kindness that God has always shown to us, we his beloved people, through the various times that he had aided us and our predecessors in the past from what we have heard in the scriptures, and how he, our God and Master, has shown his generous mercy and kindness, compassion and love, sparing us from the destruction and the damnation that we deserve because of our sins. And at the same time, he expects all of us to do the same to others, how he has shown us his generous and merciful love we are to extend that same love to our brothers and sisters wherever we find ourselves. We are reminded to forgive one another our faults, our, our mistakes, and also their wrongdoing, just as the Lord himself has already forgiven us. In our first reading today, we heard from the story of the book of Joshua during the time when the people of Israel under Joshua's leadership, was finally about to enter into the promised land of Canaan by crossing through the river Jordan. At that time, God had waited patiently to lead his people through a long 40 years journey in the desert as a punishment for their repeated rebellions and refusal to trust in him and his providence. We have seen the generosity of God in His mercy, in extending His merciful love to them, and how He loved them despite their betrayals and grumblings for those ungrateful moments they had with Him. But we are told in the first reading how God opened the river Jordan itself before the people, and how He instructed Joshua and the people of Israel to put the Ark of the Covenant 
handled by the Levite priests to the middle of the river itself. Just as God has once opened the Red Sea before his people to lead them through the dry land for them to be free from the slavery in Egypt. Here we see a constant protecting hand of God, his continual generosity in showing them his love, in guiding them, in protecting them against their enemies. In our gospel passage today we heard of the Lord Jesus speaking to his disciples regarding the parable of the ungrateful servant, in which a servant who owed his master a large sum of money, then 10,000 pieces of gold in total, was ungrateful and uncharitable in his actions, even though his master had shown him his mercy and compassion in forgiving his whole debt, when that servant was just begging for the master to give him more time to settle his debts. And this attitude of this ungrateful servant can be found in most of us. Sometimes we are not grateful to God for extending His generous love and merciful love upon us. We are all the product of the mercy of God. And if we enjoy God's mercy, it is the same thing for us to be able to exercise that same mercy to our brothers and sisters wherever we find ourselves. That ungrateful servant refused to forgive the debt or to give a chance to his fellow servant to pay off his debt, unlike what his master had done to him. Today we are called not to be ungrateful like this ungrateful servant, because we all enjoy God's mercy, we are all product of God's mercy. And if God loves us and shows us his mercy, we are expected to forgive our brothers without counting the cost. We have to extend our love to our brothers and sisters and to also be with them and show them God's love and kindness, God who has always been generous to us. We are also reminded to be patient with one another in our wickedness, in our stubbornness of heart. We can also remember that God has always been on our side and he has been charitable to us, the need for us to be at peace with our brothers and sisters, to forgive them and to live well with them. May the Lord, our most loving and compassionate, patient and kind Master, continue to bless us, who loves us, and may He continue to guide us in all our dealings and our daily activities as we begin the day. May He bless us and may He continue to bless the work of our hands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Suivez désormais sur vos smartphones et ordinateurs toutes les actualités de l'Église catholique en Afrique et dans le monde entier sur SMA Togo TV. Le Samaritain aujourd'hui, on ne l'a pas, mais c'est nous qui sommes les Samaritains. Nous devons suivre l'exemple de Jésus sur cette terre. C'est le coup de la parole, l'opportunité d'être en communion avec le Christ. SMA Togo TV est accessible 24 heures sur 24 en direct sur le www.smatogo.tv, YouTube, SMA Togo TV, Facebook, SMA Togo TV. Téléchargez l'application SMA Togo TV dans Play Store. Foi, éducation, santé, société, développement, entrepreneuriat, humour et sport, tout est passé au peigne fin sur votre web TV. SMA Togo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire. Thank you.